Hi Capricorn, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And if this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube. And thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. All right, you have the Two of Wands as your overall energy, the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and then the Lover's card. All right. You have the King of Swords. The star card. And then the nine of swords and then the eight of swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini. Very strong Gemini placements, right? With the lover's card and then the king of swords. The king of swords is a very strong Gemini card, all right? Take it out, resonates. Or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Take it out, resonates, all right? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. You're waiting for someone. All right. You're making you're waiting for someone to make that grand gesture. Okay? You're made, you're waiting for someone to make that grand gesture. I'm really getting that you feel that this is your counterpart and For some of you, they are. They could be your twin flame, your soulmate. Just there's a lot of love here. And there's a, a very deep soul connection between the two of you. The two of wands. It's a major decision that you're going to take. You're waiting for an offer, as I said before. You could be dealing with someone from another part of the globe, all right? Spirit is highlighting to me the globe in that uh, in this card, if you could see. But more so, the King of Swords is an international card. Could be dealing with someone from another country or a different culture, all right? Take it how it resonates. But there are major decisions coming in that going to change your life forever that's why it's called a major decision right the ace of pentacles to the king of swords all right stable stable offer coming in towards you this is something that you've been waiting for this is something that you've been hoping and praying for it's finally coming in the king of swords is someone who is very strategic all right they make wise decisions they make a intelligent decisions and i'm really getting that it kind of took time right it kind of took time for them to make this offer why because they're trying to see the pros and cons of of offering this uh of this offer nothing wrong with that right i don't blame them i make pros and you know list my pros and cons first before i do anything this is very stable all right you have the five of cups to the star card um you know for some reason i'm getting that this person maybe you've you've opened up to this person that uh in the past you were traumatized by something a, a relationship has really disappointed you in some way maybe that's the reason why this person had to think you know a little bit more before they offer 
they offer something stable to you. Maybe they thought that uh, you haven't really healed. Or maybe they waited for you to heal first, all right? With a star card. They waited for you to heal first from, if you heard that, uh, that knock, all right? I'm not really sure. There was a knock somewhere. I just heard knock. Anyway, maybe they waited to, for you to heal first. This is something very big coming towards you, all right? With the Lover's card, the Nine of Swords, and then the Eight of Swords, you're slowly releasing anxiety, all right? You're slowly releasing anxiety. The Lover's card here, you understand that this is your perfect match, all right? Basically, your perfect match. I know you love this person very much. All right, I know you do. And this person loves you too. And you're slowly releasing that burden. The anxiety to the overthinking from the nines to the eights, it goes down. And then you understand that there's no threat here. There's a need to release anxiety. There's a need to release the overthinking. All right. I'm sorry if you heard the slight noise in the background. It's just there's something going on earlier, just a few minutes back. If you feel that this person might leave you and it makes you anxious, stop doing it. All right, pull yourself out of that negative thought, Capricorn. It's really unhealthy. The thing is, when we overthink, when we deal with these negative scenarios in our head, it hasn't even happened yet and your energy and it drains you already. All right, you've lost already because in your head, like, uh, this is happening. Don't do that. Pull yourself out of that negative thought. What is the outcome? The Five of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, all right, and the Three of Pentacles. Advice. All right, the Five of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and then the Three of Pentacles. Okay, it's time to release, all right? It's time to release that fear and negative thinking of someone, you know, this person doing a number of you, uh, d doing a number on you, of, you know, deceiving you. They won't, all right? You have to release that burden that people would always do bad things to you. It's just unhealthy, All right? This person will commit to you. Very much commit to you. Maybe right now you're balancing your finances. Or, or you're working on things or, start, or starting like a new business to balance off your finances. I'm not really sure. I take it how it resonates. But on the commitment side, this person will commit to you. Will work hard for this relationship. All right. Advice. The Hermit card, the King of Pentacles, and then the Four of Cups. All right. You can manifest anything you want. All right. You can manifest anything you want. The King of Pentacles, work on your money, all right? There's a lot of stability coming in towards you. And don't doubt this offer. It's stable and secure, all right? And then the Hermit card, 
Um, maybe you're isolating yourself. All right. Don't. Don't isolate yourself. Other messages, please. You have forgiveness, All right? Forgiveness. <laughs> All right, you have forgiveness, and then you have ask help from others, and then compromise. Right. yep that is all i have for you capricorn i hope something in this reading resonated and if it did please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you i love you all so much i'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed